Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and so we are going to pour with a variety of pinks over this cute little pumpkin. I am going to do this as a dirty pour, so I'm gonna fill up my cup, and I'm using white to lighten it up, and then I will be using pretty much all the pinks. Um, so this is electric pink, nice and bright. Then I've got pearl pink, which is a metallic pink. Um, I'm also gonna throw a little bit of garnet in here, which is a metallic red. And I've got pink tulip, pretty middle of the road pink. And then I'm going to add some Merlot. Now I'm adding the Merlot mainly for some contrast so it doesn't just look like one big pink blob. <laughs> and I'm gonna just layer these again until I have enough paint. All right, we've got our gorgeous cup there. Now I am going to raise this pumpkin up a little bit here in the center of the canvas. Um, otherwise you end up with essentially kind of like a dirty blob of paint in the middle. I'm leaving the stem on here so that I can easily move it on and off, but if you want, you could remove the stem and then just move it by the cup. Um, it will probably get some paint on the stem, but I can always paint over it later. And just pour pretty evenly. If you pour too much on one side, your pumpkin can fall off of that little cup. I'm just gonna pour it in a tree ring. Uh, pour slow, you shouldn't have trouble getting full coverage, but if you pour a little too fast, you might. Sometimes I do that, so pour a little bit slower here. And now that we're at the end, we are kind of going to work on our design a little bit. Which colors we want where. There we go. That is going to be awesome. I can already tell. So I'm going to let this drip for probably about five minutes or so, and then we'll finish the canvas. Now at the end, you could really just leave it like this or you can tilt to get some of that excess paint off of the top. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So I'm gonna just lift this up carefully. I'm gonna move it over to the side. And here we go with the cup. And I'll just set it on the cup and leave it there until it dries. Now I definitely see <laughs> Now that I moved it, I see this big part over here that I missed. If you missed a part, um, once again, you can tilt like this, but you can also just kind of take your finger a little bit and touch that up. It happens. And now I've got full coverage. Okay, so let's get our canvas. I like to let that hole fill up in the middle and then tilt. This is a great one to do on a spinner, like a cake spinner, if you have it. I unfortunately do not have one here right now, so I'm gonna just tilt. Oh, look at this crazy part over here. Unfortunately, we're probably gonna lose it because it's right on the edge, but I'll try and see if I can maintain some of it. Sometimes you can kind of take some extra paint, maybe help it along over there. We're still probably gonna definitely lose some. And I personally like it off center, so I'm gonna have this kind of run back this way a little bit. Stretch out the side of the canvas that I like the most. And there we go. All right, let's go in for our close-up. And the 
let's start with our pumpkin and I'm actually going to just lift it up by the stem and slowly rotate it. Now it'll look a bit different when it dries, but I love it. I think I went a little overboard on the red maybe. That's okay. And here is our canvas. So we've got that nice kind of flower pattern in the middle. Got some really fun cells over here. I managed to save some of them. And just a lot of, a lot of fun patterns throughout here. So there you guys go, acrylic pouring over a pumpkin for Breast Cancer Awareness Month slash Halloween. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time.